More problems for the Max plane, the 737 Max and Boeing. Sources are telling CNN another flaw has been found on the grounded aircraft. News that sent the shares sliding by more than 2%. They're off just about 1.9 now. The latest defect apparently found in the plane's computer system could push the aircraft's nose down and in doing so will require some modifications. That will delay the jet's return to service after being grounded in March. Two fatal crashes led to the planes being put on the ground. Mary Scavo is the former Inspector General at the US Department of Transportation, an aviation attorney, and she has pending lawsuits against Boeing. Uh, she joins me now from uh, Charleston um, in South Carolina. This, this latest, it's a processor, microprocessor, that if it goes wrong or if, it, if, if there's a fault, effectively does the same thing as MCAS would have done. It pushes the nose down. How come they're just discovering it now? Well, that's a very good question, and it's problematic on many fronts because obviously Boeing was trying to say that it would be a small fix. We would limit the nose down capability of the plane through the MCAS. In other words, put a limit on how far it could push the nose down and how many times it could do that. And so we have yet another problem involved. Now, it wasn't clear exactly which system this microprocessor was in. It, it could be in the MCAS or it could be another right. system. But it brings another uh, question to the pilot's ability to really fly this plane. In, in the end, when all is said and done, we want our pilots to be able to fly out of trouble. And in fact, we put the burden of troubleshooting often on the pilots. But here, if a microprocessor is going to continue to do things that the pilots can't recover from, it certainly shakes the confidence of the plane even after the fix is put in. And what we don't know, of course, is whether or not this fault was a consequential or this incident is consequential on the other fault, of course, that came or, or you know, was it, it was ab initio or was it always there? Uh, but Mary, um, is this likely to delay the return into service? Because Boeing says they can fix this with a software update. Right, I think it's going to delay it for several reasons. First and foremost, it has made the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, the aviation regulators, even more skittish because they relied on Boeing in the beginning to, to uh, certify the MAX 8. And now after Boeing said, well, we'll just put a program in so it'll limit the nose down. And now they find this additional problem. The FAA is already pretty shaky in its reputation, and they've already said they won't even begin testing until at least, I think they said, July 8th. I would look for it to be even longer than that. For Boeing, and again, I ask this, wary of the fact that you are suing uh, or involved in, with, with right. clients who are litigating uh, against Boeing. I mean, you don't... They, they, they obviously will get the plane sorted out and it will get... You're not going to suddenly uh, scrap 400 planes uh, and all of that. But it does beg the question, will the MAX be forever sullied? Is it going to have to be rebranded? Well, yes, I think it will, and it'll also be will be questioned by the pilots because another issue here is how much more pilot training is needed. Now, with the additional problem with this microprocessor, pilots will also be very suspect and say, wait a minute, I don't want to get back in this plane with an hour on an iPad. I want some actual hands-on simulator training. But, and, of course, the simulators are suspect. But does it... I mean, is it that different if you do have to put them through the sim? Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, since it's a new, since it's a new aircraft, therefore you're only putting a few through at each time as each new aircraft joins the fleet. It's not as if you, you know, it, 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 for an airline, is it that much of a of an inconvenience? That's a great point. You would think not, and particularly what has happened, but since that was one of the major selling points of the 737 MAX 8, that you did not need this uh, lengthy additional training, uh, it will be an economic consideration. And, and I think that it does play in here because that was one of the selling points. And, you know, certainly passengers, you know, th right. that's the ultimate consumer, of course. They aren't allowed under United States law. If they don't like the plane, you say you very carefully book yourself away from 737 MAX 8s, and you get to the gate and you go, oh, well, there sits a 737 MAX 8. U.S. law allows the carriers to freely swap their equipment. You get a jet plane if you book 
for a jet ticket, and that's about all you get to choose. So in the end, the passengers won't get a lot of choice, and some of them won't even recognize. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if the problem doesn't get cleared up soon that the right. Boeing MAX 8 or 737 MAX program might have a new name someday because it is suspect right. and sullied now. Mary, always good to see you. I do appreciate it. Thank you.